Well, I was always into music, and I think I was seven year old. My grand grandfather uh, bought us a set, and I practiced on them. Couldn't win your love for I used to play the drum in the colliery band, Chocolate Colliery Band, to go to Durham Big Meeting, you now there. And then that's, I suppose, that's how it uh, all started. You just got on with what you're doing, with the dancers and the band that was playing there was Eddie Stogo's band. And I was interested in drums. And he, uh, he said, here, come and try, try playing with the band. And uh, I did, and he said, well, come on, on the dance nights and you can take over and do one or two numbers, you know, when they were dancing. And that's how I got started with a set of drums. Well, I only wanted to love you. John, John McNestry, the bass player, he came to my house and said, do you fancy making a band? I says, yeah, who, who, who have we got? He says, well, I know two lads down here they play guitars. So they came and we started practicing and then we uh, went to the Townley Arms where we uh, got a book in there for a Sunday morning and it went very well so they kept work on Sunday mornings and then they uh, changed it to upstairs in the, in the ballroom part on a Sunday night and then we, uh, we got an uh, agent who who booked with um, in, in nearly all the clubs in, around the northeast. Then you told me you never did. Call him Jack Wright. He was he was from Newcastle. And he says, uh, have you ever thought of a, a name? I says, well not really, so we just said, well what about the silver dollars? And it just come from there. Oh, we played all the chart music. Whatever was in the charts, we played. Top, bottom, didn't matter where it was. And then uh, a lad that wrote, wrote the air song, Bobby Armstrong, wrote Rainbow. He uh, came to see you and said, do you fancy doing a record? And I said, yeah. And uh, we learned it. And that's how it came about. <laughs> And then we went to uh, Tang Tees to record a, a programme called uh, Rehearsal Room. Hi there. Well, as you can see, the rehearsal room has been There was about seven or eight different groups. And uh, we won the uh, prize, which was to make a record in uh, London. The, when we went to London, there was three bookings we had to have before we, before we made the record. The first one, was in um, Streatham Ice Rink, <laughs> a strange place to play. Because <laughs> when we went there, one of the people said, oh, groups, when they come here, mind to throw snowballs at you. Oh, God, that's lovely. But it, uh, anyway, we played, and they all came around and stood and listened to and clapped. And the bloke says, I've never, ever known that. Never ever known that. So that was one good thing. Couldn't win. The second booking was at Grantham, and it was a working men's club. And uh, before uh, we went on, I seen all these kids. I says, I thought that children can't go into clubs. You know, it was 1964. Oh yes, children go here. But they were all in, and I had a great time. And they wanted to go back. I says, oh, we're on where we had to London to make a, to make a record. Oh, well, don't forget. And then we went to Soho. In, in a club there called the San Moritz. And then we went to the uh, studios, which was uh, Mercury Records. And uh, 
when I was when we were going in with the gear, I was carrying a drum, and uh, the lady was coming out, and uh, I couldn't get me drum past the door. She says, "Just a moment, and I'll get it for you." So I said, "All right, thanks very much." I went in, and uh, the lad inside, he says, "Do you not know who that was?" I says, "No." <laughs> Who was it? He says it's uh, Dusty Springfield. I says, oh, never know what. Was. <laughs> well, I couldn't get an autograph or not because we were carrying gear. And then we made the record. Up there in the sky, there's a rainbow. Well, that's the uh, that's the, L the LP we that we made, the dollars worth, all signed on the back and everything, and all the all the records what we did. And that's a photograph of the, uh, it's a rainbow that the, um, the sheet music, what we had, what was, you know, you follow the sheet. It's, it's a proper sheet music, but it was framed for her. But uh, they made the record, and there was that bigger, um, people wanting to buy them up here, they didn't make enough. So by the time they'd made the, some more, to come up, it all went funny, you know. But we did get the number 27 in the charts. Um, so that, that wasn't too bad, was it? You give back the ring, but I gave you then we had a, a crash on the way back from there, there at Scotch Corner Island. And we all went into the uh, hotel there. And then we went to the hospital to get checked. But we were all okay, like. That's how we got to make a record. I was uh, 19. <laughs> Felt great, you know. Well, oh, well, we at least we got to London <laughs> and see how it all was down there, you know, which is entirely different up here. I remember.